Okay, this is the new AWS 948. Uh, it's, this is the first time we've shown it uh, at the AES show here in San Francisco. Uh, the AWS is a new product. Um, it's unique in the sense that every single channel strip is now a stereo channel strip. This means it has stereo EQ, stereo line inputs, stereo insert points, uh, and access to the center section stereo dynamics. Um, the channels can be configured to run either in stereo or they can be true inline channel strips, very similar to the classic SSL 4000 and 9000 series. We configure the channel strips using the screens up here. This is showing us a stereo channel. If I select a mono channel, you can see that we have two complete independent signal paths and using our soft key matrix we can assign EQ for example insert point in either of the signal paths uh, the same way as we can assign routing to the channel output or to the track buses in either of the signal paths um, and again we can configure as two independent inputs or we can have the second path as an automated send. Gain is controlled on a stereo strip by a single fader and the rotary encoder becomes the balance control. This is differentially changing the balance of the stereo input. On a mono strip, this is the primary path level, this is the secondary path level and we have fader flip. So we can toggle the moving fader between either of the two signal paths. Above that, channel route bus routing for the main fader, our sends, the full stereo EQ section. It now has independent, um, in, we can independently configure EG characteristics on the shelf and the mid bands. And right at the top, channel gain, input phase reverse. We've made a number of changes in the uh, workstation control. <coughs> we now have two workstation layers. Um, we can select between, uh, for example here I'm running Pro Tools on one layer and Logic on the second layer. We also have a radically new automation mode available whereby we can control the analog automation directly from the workstation. So we do this by um, routing out of the workstation pre-fader. And we can then use the workstation faders to control our analog levels. So at the moment you can see the workstation faders are all at zero. If I enable this mode and then fire a snapshot, I've now locked the workstation faders and the console faders together. So I can now write automation in the workstation using the workstation control. So I can do all my editing using, using in the workstation, change arrangements, um, do offline trims, draw, draw automation with a mouse. All the normal tools, will, but those moves will play back on the analog levels in the channel strip. We have a new, um, what we call a browser. So now we have full project storage for Matrix. Uh, number of titles. Um, we have uh, the ability to label both the monitor and the channel paths <coughs> through the browser. Um, and external monitoring look at our mixes uh, and projects. And so um, other changes include new options um, for metering. We have new high resolution meters, uh, a phase meter uh, and a pair of, of main output meters. Um, and then we've retained all the normal features of an SSL console, um, stereo bus compressor, a pair of channel dynamics, 
and the full 5.1 monitoring option. So that's basically an overview of the 948. Um, it's shipping um, and hopefully we will be um, launching it in Japan very shortly. And I hope to be there. Ha, ha, ha.